All right, what do we got, Baker here? That's not Baker, Joe. Nice name, bud. <laughs> oh, hey. I've always wanted to be Baker Mayfield. Uh, Baker, who stood out to you on the defensive side, maybe in the secondary, whether it be some of the young guys or even some of the vets coming back? When JOK went in there uh, and just his instincts and ability to – get around linemen and they're pulling for them or on screen plays and, and dip under and make tackles. I think it's pretty special. Jay, okay. What's going on, man? Jeremiah, who's helped you the most uh, since camp began? Is there somebody that, st that stood out better and wise that's helped you the most? A big, big person for me inside the linebacker room is definitely Malcolm Smith and um, a walk. So those, those two veteran guys have seen a lot of football and got a lot of snaps. And those two guys are definitely um, valuable in my eyes. Lord, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for giving us juice. Lord, give us the freedom and the heart and the mind to go out and play our hearts out. Leave it all out on the field and let the chips fall where they may. Malcolm Smith um, was a great addition to our team last year. We thought that he would be the leader of that group, and that's what we wanted to add. And we had some young players in that room, and he's the father figure. Oh, stare down, break on something today. Oh, yeah. Keep your vision the whole time. Trying to get like you. Whole time. What's going, what's going on? Uh, young player. There's an old saying that the youth is wasted on the young. It's something I, I heard as a, a young player a lot. Um, and you make bonehead decisions, bonehead mistakes, you know, things that you can make things a lot easier on, on yourself and the team. So um, I've already taken a lot of lumps playing this game. Might as well try to teach the lessons to, to the younger guys. Uh, I don't know about father figure, but definitely an older brother. Cut it loose. Have some fun. Let it fly. First down, Glennon, bootlegs out to the right, looking, he's getting pressure from Joe Jackson, he dumps it underneath, and the tackle by Malcolm Smith. Malcolm Smith has been a great uh, role model for me. It's a you know great experience to be able to have a veteran in your room that um, understands the game the way he understands the game, that has seen as much football as he's seen. Um, and it's a good mixture when you can um, add a veteran that's really good and add a rookie that's um, trying to work his way up. I actually was out there like, yeah, I could have made it. Me too. No, I'm not doing bad. You just see mine looks like yours. Actually. I know. <laughs> We've paired Malcolm with Jeremiah a lot throughout camp to create that relationship so that he feels comfortable to ask questions. So what's great about Jeremiah is he'll ask you a question. He, he, he will say what's on his mind. And what's great, what's great is when you say what's on your mind, you can, you can get things fixed faster because you're honest and you communicate. Yeah, we should have been all the way over. The drives get long <laughs> if the execution isn't there. Um, and then, you know, an egg on your face, an egg on my face. So... Any mistake that, you know, we can come and we can fix and correct as soon as we can, I I'd love to do it. If you got anything for Willie now when you see him in there, yeah. just really watch Willie. Okay. They're going to give it on a jet sweep. It goes to Pettis. Go, 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 go. Get him, Willie. And Willie Harvey is out there and makes the play at the 33-yard line. Willie don't play. Willie don't play. I think some of our linebackers this year have gotten to put out some good video. It's nice having a preseason so that guys get to play, you know, Willie Harvey, Elijah Lee. So one of our things is to just help guys get video out so that if there's only 53 in a practice squad, so if they can't be here with us, then hopefully they can get a job. And as a coach, that's what you want. You want every, every person that you coach to be successful. Any questions? Anything else, Coach Blum, for the guys? Faster on the check down. At the end of the day, you want the guys you work with, you impart wisdom on to go and be successful somewhere else if they have to. I think that's why you want to build uh, quality bonds with, with your teammates that go beyond wearing the same helmet. Four, four, four! Four! Missed it. Come on, I got this one though. All right, no three, two. Oh, oh they got me. Oh, oh they tricked me. They tricked me. I mean, we're, we're competing indirectly with each other, you know what I mean? So it's, it's okay to cheer on your teammates. It's okay to help them out, to be great, you know, and, and want them to do well. Back it goes. Lewerke's got it. Now he's flushed to the right. He stumbles. Now he comes back. Now he's throwing into the end zone, and it is batted around and intercepted by Richard LeCount. And he'll take it to the back of the end zone, and that's your ball game. The rookie from Georgia has his second interception of the preseason. 
very smooth operation again. Few penalties, few issues getting the plays in and out of the huddle, few issues with communication. And I think we started to see some separation at some of those important position battles. Hey, nice win. Well done. You come in here, fellas. So keep it score, we're looking to win, okay? Situational football. Took, took all 60 minutes. Nice job. We had a two, huge two-point stop. Think about that. Two minutes. Oh, shared situational awareness. Remember, we gotta all be thinking how many timeouts do they have? How many timeouts do we have? Be smart and be safe tonight, all right? Team on three. One, two, three. Hit that music. We're winning, baby. Damn, I, I ain't get a chance to tell y'all. I'm, I, I, I'm over, I'm over, I'm over here working. It. My bad. James has done an excellent job, really, from the moment he got here on campus. He's been at it with Coach Peters, with Coach Callahan. It's fun to watch those guys in the individual period, put him through every single drill you can imagine. And James never blinks. He wants more. He wants to continue to, to fine tune his craft. Uh, and that's great to see from a young guy. Oh, my knee pad didn't came up. Oh, we gotta get better today. We gotta get better. Definitely feel like this was, this was a hard training camp for me. Uh, and that's because I'm hard on myself uh, as a player. Uh, you know, I'm, I just want to do the best that I can possibly do. And, uh, you know, for my first NFL training camp, I feel like uh, I did pretty well. I uh, handled my, handled my own. You know, I, of course I can improve on some technique things, some footwork things, but uh, for my first NFL camp, I feel like I did pretty good. I got you. Just I'm ready. Go! <laughs> James has gotten better. I think Coach Peters does a great job bringing him along, you know, on some of the details and techniques. And he can really specialize and break off in the post-practice or in the pre-practice, focusing on improvable areas for James, whether it be pass pro, run technique, footwork, or just walking through some basic uh, schematics and concepts. Go! Just watch the feet. <laughs> Go! Moving, skimming, light. Yeah, sleepy. Skim the ground, man. Okay? You can always settle and get anchored. But man, you need speed on the skim. Speed on the skim. Speed, speed, speed. speed. Be yeah. consistent with your feet. Coach Callahan, man, easily one of my favorite coaches that I've had so far in my life. Uh, and that's because he, he, he knows what he, exactly what he's talking about. He's coached guys to be, you know, future Hall of Famers. Uh, and he, he won't hesitate to jump on you, uh, which I like, which I, I need sometimes. And, uh, you know, he, he, he just wants the, the best for the for the player. And you're not going to find too many coaches like that who care as much. So I'm just, I'm blessed to have a coach like him. Ah. Bad boys. Yeah, Coach Callahan really pushes his guys, and he does it in a way that's fair, but he's demanding. He wants he wants each one of these guys to play to the absolute best of their ability, and he's going to push you, and, and he wants to get it out of you. And I think we have a bunch of guys that want to work, which is great to see. But with Coach Callahan, Coach Peters, they absolutely are going to work you at practice. <laughs> Coach and Scotty, they both, you know, put countless hours and while guys are on the beach, you know, enjoying their, their off season, you know, they are <laughs> watching the smallest steps, seeing if your toe that moves a little bit out or a little bit in, what what did that do to the block? They are, they are so detail oriented and they're great because of it. They're great coaches to have, you know, it kind of sucks sometimes when you can't do anything right and, you know, what's wrong with my feet, what's wrong with my hands, but that's the kind of stuff that wins and that's the kind of stuff that wins consistently. It brings you to a, 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 a new normal, right? Like your new normal is getting yelled at, but you're playing better. You're 
hitting people with more power. You're, you're doing it right. You're doing the technique and fundamentals correct because, you know, one, you don't want to get yelled at, and two, you want to you better yourself. You want to do better yourself. Um, I know that Bill, uh, he stays on us. He, he works us hard, and, you know, especially, you know, you know, the closing part of camp, you think, oh, you know, this is when it's going to get easy. To every minute he has, he's going to take advantage of it. So, uh, you know, these, this past week we've uh, we've been put through the grinder, and, you know, that's that's what it takes to, to be a good offensive line here. Now, was that hard? Yes. We can go nice and easy. It's not going to get you ready, okay? you got to push through it. That's where leadership on this team has to step up. Team on three. One, two, three. When you know that the final cut day is coming up, you know, it's, it's very stressful. You never know what can happen. And, you know, some, some of the bonds that you may have created with some different teammates might be cut short. And, you know, that's a very huge weight to have on your shoulders. And so to know that that's coming around, you just got to be able to know that no matter what, you can only control what you can control. And so you just got to keep your mind on that stay focused on that and everything else will work out. Guys get another opportunity, all right? One more opportunity to play as a team. One more opportunity to compete. I can't wait to watch it. Good luck to you, you're with your coaches. It means so much for me to, you know, be at this position now. Coming in, you know, it, it was a dream come true. There's a lot of people who doubted me, said I wouldn't be here. My skills wouldn't translate to the NFL. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting started. Tonight, the Browns come in at two wins and no losses. And for a lot of guys, this is a tough roster to make. This is a good team. 53 make the team. In the past, Doug, a lot of the young guys we have seen here would have made a Browns roster. Not this one, though. Yeah. Yeah. One play at a time. Set your intentions. Yes, sir. Play. Yes, sir. Well, Demetri, he's a guy that wants to play. And he understands that in order to get on the field, he's going to have to be successful on special teams. And he's mastering some of those things. All the support that I get from, you know, the coaches, staff, players, it all means so much to me. First and foremost, I do it for them. I do it for the people to my left and to my right. I know I did. I want that one, bro. I should have got in on that last one. During game day, you know, it's a very intense moment. So you're focused, but you also got to have fun to lighten up the mood. Ah. Oh, hey there, buddy boy. I should have scored twice already. Thanks, guy. Don't worry about the past. I got you, I got you. Future. Yep. You're going to get plenty more times. All the different guys who talk to me during the game is definitely a big help into making that load that you and that pressure that you feel during game day a little bit lighter. I told him to do that that dance he was doing on TikTok. It's just funny because you're so big. You feel me? You're too big to be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is definitely a, a quiet guy, but you know, he, he kind of reminds me of myself because once I get used to people, I open up. And, you know, the closer I've been able to get to him, I've been able to see that fun side of him, and it's, it's been awesome. <laughs> no one wants to hang out with me, bro. Oh, Batman, oh, lonely ass over here. Bro, they're going to catch me saying so much dumb stuff on here. I can't wait to hear it. Coach Stefanski has emphasized camaraderie on this team, and you know I, I've definitely felt that. 
You want me to tell the world your, your nickname? <laughs> Ever since me and the rookies got here, I feel like we had such a tight bond. You know, we're, we're, all, we're always doing everything together, trying to figure out the culture of this team together. And uh, I'm just excited for what the future uh, has in store for us. Looking, throws, and it is caught in the end zone. Touchdown, they've got it, Davion Davis. Double D. This man is Houdini, bro. This man is Houdini, bro. I can't be just any more happy than I've been right now. You know, it was a lot of work learning all the different positions and competing every day at practice because everyone's bringing it, everyone's trying to make this team, and you have to be the best version of yourself every day. Man, running back or receiver, what's your I want to do both. <laughs> yeah, I want them to put me everywhere, man. Damn! What's good, bro? Yes, sir! How you been, man? <laughs> you know, now that this is all over with, it's been a good transition. It's been a good time being at camp and getting to learn everything. Okay, I, I just go, my family's right there. I'm just saying, all right. My dad has been there, you know, every step of the way, uh, him and my mom. And so uh, to make them proud, make them happy, means the world to me. Guys, the worst part of this business is coming up, okay? I hate it. We have 80 players right now. We got to get down to 53 with a 16 practice squad, okay? I appreciate every single guy in this room, every single one of you guys. Okay? I would love, to, let's change the rules, keep everybody. That's not the rules, all right? That's the business part of this thing. We're gonna turn our attention to week one, but before we do that, we gotta make sure all of us, coaches, players, staff included, look around this room, all right? And look each other in the eye and say, I appreciate how you work, all right? Because that's what we're about. We got a bunch of guys in this room that did that, okay? I want you guys to know that's, that's I mean that very sincerely. Appreciate you fellas. Team on three, one, two, three. NFL teams will cut their rosters down to 53 players today if they haven't already done so. The cut deadline set for 4 p.m. Eastern time. A number of teams have already made some cuts. These are real human beings that are trying to figure out where they're going to land in the next couple of days, and that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, it's a really unfortunate part of our business. As a coach, I'd love to sit here and tell you, let's keep everybody. Uh, and I know that's not realistic. Not going to be easy. Uh, not looking forward to it, uh, especially as you make relationships, especially as you grow relationships with different players and, and guys that are great teammates. It's hard, uh, but that's the nature of this beast. All right, so first of all, good morning, everyone. Um, so appreciate really everybody's work and everybody's perspective over the past six weeks. Um, you know, really talking through our rosters to try and shape the 53. So I'll give you a little bit of time to digest, um, you know, all the different decisions. All right, let me share my screen here. You know, the other thing I kind of wanted to hit on the front end of this is, you know, when putting together the 53, it's a 17 week season. So, you know, whatever we come out of the cut down with, it's it's really just a snapshot in time. It's not a roster that's um, frozen through the duration of the regular season. And the reason I raise that is because, you know, from a front office perspective, you know, our job is to manage that roster accordingly. Yeah, managing the roster is really a 365-day enterprise, and AB and his staff do an outstanding job of making sure that the roster's always churning, always finding opportunities to bring good players in here. And as you approach that final cut, there's some great conversations that we that we have as a coaching staff, as a personnel staff. Hey, AB, I'm just going to jump in here. Think of this, guys. With people that were not on our roster when we got to training camp last, last year. It is, you know, to the reminder that not only are there guys from 53 set that it'll lead to some maneuvering, there's also guys that have come in and and will, and coaches do a great job of getting them ready and play meaningful snaps for us. So, and really we want to hear from everybody. We, we want to hear what the coaches who are in the meeting rooms, on the field, what they're seeing. Uh, and I think the dialogue is so important. So are there any questions? I appreciate you guys. Feel free to follow up uh, offline with me, you know, separately if there's if there's anything else that that either is top of mind or comes to mind.
I thought we had a really solid training camp. We covered a lot of ground schematically. Uh, the guys did an excellent job in the meeting rooms as we evolve in our schemes, offense, defense, special teams. And then just to see the guys work on the field. It was hot at times. It was chippy at times. Uh, it was hard. It was really, really hard. And the guys continued to push through it. Coming back in year two of the offense, uh, being able to refine some of our uh, you know, our, our plays from last year and really get to own those concepts in the pass game. Um, you know, just getting better in the run game is understanding what we're trying to accomplish. I think it was a, a successful camp. You know, I thought we did a lot of good things offensively. Our organization is great. We work together well. It's been very exciting for me being a part of it. I thought our group worked and regardless of position, uh, our guys learned how to play together. Proud of the guys of how we just rolled in we had one practice where we were down to four of us and they just looked at each other and me and everybody and said, let's go. We love to compete. That's why we're all doing this. I'm excited about going into uh, week one against Kansas City. We've prepared all summer long and now we're ready to go in there and, and give it our best effort. And if we do that, I feel we'll come out uh, on the winning end. We really believe here and I think Coach Stefanski makes a great point of it every day. And we need to work to get better. And I think that work, okay, will hopefully, you know, uh, help us as we begin to get, you know, go forward into Kansas City. Look, ultimately, we need to go out there and win games this year. We do think we have enough talent in our building. We're incredibly confident in our coaching staff. Uh, you know, we feel like if, if we do our part, everyone does their part, we're going to have a successful season. At the end, I guess we'll see what, what that looks like. We have high expectations for at least what we're capable of.